I want to show that I got, you know, I got a bunch more containers of water. And I did want to show this water. Look at that. That's straight out of the pond, man. <laughs> and it's like, that's where all the, you know, the plant, uh, you know, those little green plants, see them floating on the top? That's where all that plant algae is growing. Look how clean that water is. And I would say, you know, it's next to the highway. Well, I think it's connects to the Hudson River. Well, I don't like to say Hudson, but I mean, this water's really clean, man. You could almost, I mean, probably I wouldn't, but you'd almost drink it like that and probably survive, but I wouldn't. But, uh, you know, there's a lot, what do they call it? Diatomaceous earth, you know? There's a lot of worms here and uh, a lot of plants in the water. I mean, that water's very clean, so I'm already like, I'm gonna get a little experiment. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Setting aside some some charcoal here. Picking out a few pieces. They could bust it up into charcoal powder, you know, and sift some of this sand and uh, you know use a sock or some a clean sock or some kind of piece of cloth in a bottle with a hole in it into a larger container and try to filter a little water and drink it. I've never done it. Uh, I'm not worried about it. I mean, if I run it through that, and I run it through earth and that, and earth and that, and earth and that, and then like a sock or something, like, psh, I'm not gonna die <laughs> from that. I mean, seriously, you know, but yeah, so I did, I got a bunch more containers filled with water. Uh, you know, and as I eat out of some of the other food containers, I'll fill them with water also. It's good to have for an emergency, you know? You don't want to put, you got a problem, you want to put water around your fire and put your fire out thoroughly. And this is like a beautiful spot, except that traffic sound is amplified. It's, even the birds and the animals here are like, what the flap? You know? Yeah. Yeah, man, that water is like, you know, I mean, look at this. Oh, well, look at that. That's straight out of the pond. How clean is that? Yeah, I'm tilting it to see if there's a little oil in there. You know, like motor oil from the road. I just think that's the way the light is hitting it, man. I mean, there could be a little oil in it, but it would definitely filter out. You know, with a multi-layered charcoal and diatomaceous earth filter. You know, like, it will totally filter out. <laughs> Uh, that water's very clean, bro. This is a beautiful spot right here. And then over here, it's like none of the animals are going to come out from over here. And then I'm surrounded by these trees if I wanted to, you know, string up a little break out of, you know, some dollar store tarps and some paracord, you know. That's a good spot. The animals would come from over here. Uh, because you know the wind shift and the smoke and then if I did make a break you know yeah it's a good spot I, I don't usually I don't have a problem with animals I mean I've like walked and talked with coyotes <laughs> deers don't run from do not run from me you know it's like I, t I had chipmunks playing right around me talking to me practically standing on their hind legs talking to me you know, it's like animals don't freak out. Only people can't stand me, you know. And it's sad. It's frustrating. Yeah, this rock is like severely flat. And I don't understand these ants, man. How they could walk around in the hot rocks over here. They're like, look how flat this rock is. It's like such a good spot. But I had to wait for the fire to calm down because because of the wind shift, there's too much smoke, which is good, because it's like totally smoking the bugs out of the area, right? They're all getting smoked out, so. That's my little crotch. I could completely sleep, just like that. <laughs> With a little coal fire there, just for a little warmth, and the heat goes in that way, unless the wind shifts again. Uh, yeah, cool stuff. I guess I miss you I love you my children I miss my children and I love you yeah and then some like grown man he's like probably in his mid 40s maybe or late 30s mid 40s he comes up to me and he's like Papa he calls me Papa I'm like yeah 
Then there was this lady, she's like in her 50s, and she was in the parking lot of the Price Chopper, and she's like, we're all here, all your children are here. And I'm like, oh no. These people think I'm the devil. I don't know. Maybe we are resurrected. Maybe they are all my children, but they're all nutcases. You know, so we're going to have a little issue there. But, you know, I love everybody. I don't hate people. But, you know, like this amplified traffic sound. It's like crazy, right? These The animals. Like, I know by, you know, the locals here, they're just like, What the flop? What the flop? What the flap is that? You know, like they're not used to all this racket. Like it's usually very quiet over here, right? But well, because I'm here, you know, target, targeted individual, right? Sound on sound, convection and amplification. And animals are disturbed, but I was talking to them. I was talking to them. I get along with animals pretty good, actually. With the exception of when people train their dogs to attack me, you know, then, you know, I usually have to try to defend myself or flee, which that's sad. It's not the dog's fault. It's, that's why I got so hurt last time because, like, I tried to roll the dog and, you know, I didn't want to hurt him because he was a small dog, but I had gotten bit by a small dog the last time and it was very painful, you know, and it was very sharp. So, like... You know, I tried to roll him, like viciously roll him and then scare him because it wasn't his fault that they were making him attack me and let him off the leash. And then like, you know, I got two severely bloody knees. They got, I got like scars, just like, like that scar on both knees. And then uh, <laughs> my bicycle seat, I think used to be my father's bicycle seat, got a, you know, rip in the side of it. And, it was a very stressful experience. Yeah. But I'm here for positivity, so that's what I'm going to do. And like I said, I just... Yeah, I got my head buds. I'll try not to kill my battery. I'll listen to... Maybe I got some guitar playing I saved in here. I just was very, very interested in the clarity of that water. It does shine a little rainbow, like there could be oil in it, but... I don't think that's oil, man. I just think that's the light out here. And even if it is oil, let's see. Yeah, it's a little funky, man. It's a little swampy, but it's swamp water, bro. It's clean. Yeah, run that through a filter. That's very drinkable. And this is all for the fire, you know? And I got a couple other containers I can use also. That's so, you know, for safety. Like, there's leaves over here, but all over here it's all it's all cleared out like I cleared a huge area it took a long time I was sweating I had to fan myself out to get the sweat down because when it gets cold later sweat is cold you know when a shirt is damp with sweat that's cold so I solved that issue yeah there's some good pieces of charcoal there see nice charcoal and I'll pick one or two more out of there and I'll smash them up into a fine powder in a bag. And I'll use them for water filtering, you know? Yeah, it's fun to watch fire sometimes. It's relaxing. Yeah, these rocks were all local. I didn't pick apart any, you know, uh, ancient landmark or anything like that. These were all rocks that had washed down here this must have been a, a waterway at one time or a severe flood at one time all these rocks had tum like tumbled and some of them were set hard in the ground but they're all over the place there's a lot of them back there <laughs>